Hi guys. Um, I'm guessing that I have a lot of explaining to do. I haven't been vlogging for more than like seven months or something. I've been really busy uh, with my work. I don't know, I just uh, kind of gave up on the vlogging because it just all got a bit too much for me. It's January 2016 right now and the last time I vlogged was May 2015 so yeah it's a new year and a fresh start so um, I thought I'd start up with uh, catching up on what's been going on since I last vlogged as I told you uh, in the last vlogs I had some business things going on and uh, I was about to reveal the big thing that was happening but I never got to it um, I did the thing but I never got to tell you guys you know so I basically I bought a bar and um, yeah <laughs> we opened at the end of June yeah it's, there's just so much stuff that has happened that I don't even know where to begin you know to explain everything but pretty much everything in my life has changed uh, I've moved as you can see this is not my usual background um, well one thing one thing I know that hasn't changed my love for coke well actually I used to promote uh, my love for Pepsi Max I haven't given up on that either but this was just the only thing that was in the store so uh, yeah I moved, ha moved house and started a new business and um, yeah many people in my life that uh, used to be daily in my life um, are no, no longer there it's not like I'm sad about it or anything uh, and uh, I've met a lot of new people and I'm actually quite happy with my life at the moment. I've surrounded myself with people that I, um, I really care about and uh, I have fun with. And I don't know, there were a couple of rough patches along the way, like in the fall. Right now I feel really kind of that I have a stable life, you know. And maybe I'm, I'm kind of proud of myself also. So the reason I decided that I might start vlogging again is because um, I just miss it. It was so much fun because I... <laughs> okay, this must might sound really crazy, but um, I often talk to myself when I'm alone at home. So, <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, why not talk to a camera, you know? And besides, uh, like I told you um, a year ago, I really want to capture the uh, special moments in my life. And I have been filming every now and then, like, just, you know, for myself to keep as a memory sake. This is so hard. You, you, can, you cannot even imagine how hard this is. I was in such a different place last time I vlogged. I was living kind of a hectic life and my job was something that, well, I, I, I really liked it, but it was um, stressful in that sense that I used to work in loads of different bars and I was doing DJ gigs and uh, waitressing and all sorts of things and uh, I didn't really have a set place where I used to work. It got a bit too much, you know, and then I got presented uh, this opportunity to purchase this bar. Uh, I thought about it for like a month or something. I kind of already knew during that month that I was not gonna back down. I was <laughs> just gonna go ahead and buy it. But the process was really long and really difficult because there was so much paperwork to you know even start the buying process you know okay I'll 
try to catch you up with like a timeline or something. Uh, last time I vlogged was uh, at the end of May um, when I was actually probably the last vlog was the one where I was in Helsinki and it was the uh, karaoke Finnish championship thingy. During that uh, vacation as you might call it I had a little fallout with a friend of mine and I was feeling kind of down about it a couple of weeks from that trip we got the permit um, which we needed to actually start the business before we opened the doors we had to uh, do a little renovations to the place and um, I was I was oh my god I was so tired during that time I used to wake up at like nine o'clock in the morning and the whole day I would be at the pub uh, doing something, painting or cleaning, setting things up, uh, learning to do stuff because I really hadn't <laughs> ever done anything to do with running a pub. And then uh, I would have friends and family that would help me there during the daytime. But after they left, I stayed. Uh, and I usually left at like around 3 a.m. or something. I went home, slept for four hours and then went back. That was about two weeks that lasted. Then we got to open the bar. Uh, the first week was... it was actually quite <laughs> horrible. I didn't know what to expect. It was like, you know, when you go to a new job and uh, you're supposed to already pretty much know what you're supposed to do but at the same time you have no fucking idea what you actually need to do. I felt like I was like a five-year-old trying to work. Like <laughs> I was all over the place and plus I wasn't sleeping very well and uh, my mind was going all over the place. As I mentioned in the earlier vlogs I had booked a vacation um, to Spain with my sister in July, uh, middle of July. The bar had been open for a week and a half. All of a sudden I had to hop on the plane and go for a vacation. The idea of it was terrible. I, uh, I was absolutely horrified of the fact that I uh, had just uh, opened this place and I uh, it was my responsibility and all of a sudden I had to give the keys to someone else, take care of this place in the meantime while I'm away. You can only imagine how well that vacation went. Yeah, but I needed that. I really did. Because um, the day that we left for the vacation, um, my back uh, just gave up. Uh, I was lifting a bag from the ground and I, I got halfway up and my back just popped and then I was you know crouching over and I couldn't move anywhere it hurt like hell I was actually quite scared because I was alone at the pub and uh, I had stuff that I needed to get from my car and put in the freezer and I was absolutely terrified and I had like two hours until we needed to, you know, get going so we wouldn't miss our plane. Uh, so <laughs> I called my friend. I was crying in the phone and telling him that uh, I can't move. I don't know what to do. I need to get all this stuff inside the bar and I cannot even walk. So please help me. So, uh, well, yeah, he came and he uh, called um, a chiropractor friend uh, and... Um, he got a time for me to go in 10 minutes so he put me in his car and started driving like 140 kilometers an hour so like speeding way 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 too fast uh, so that I would make it to the appointment and um, yeah we arrived there and uh, the chiropractor popped my ligaments in my back and uh, I could move after that like I could stand straight, I could, yeah, I could walk again. So yeah, that was that. 
um, we went to the vacation and that was horrible, you know. After I got back from Spain, it was like the busiest season, the busiest time of the year, which usually is, you know, during the summertime here in Finland. And um, for like three months, I worked every day, at least 12, 12 hours a day. Yeah, I was just always at the pub. Then I got to the point where I felt like I need some time alone. I need to just, when I'm at home, I need to be alone. You know, as you know, uh, I used to live with a roommate earlier. And um, I mean, I, I absolutely love her with all my heart. But uh, I just didn't fancy the company. So I made a decision to move and um, in October, middle of October, I moved to this new apartment. I really like it here. Of course, I'm kind of lonely here since I have no company every day whenever I need company. But I think it's done good for me. You know, I'm a lot calmer and I can really distress myself when I come home. Yeah, I think it was a really good decision. And then um, in November I went to Spain again because everything just got a bit too much for me. I was working non-stop every day and then of course there was the moving process uh, which took like two weeks, you know. I was working 12 hours a day and like I every night when I got got off work, I started moving my stuff from the old apartment to the new apartment, and so it took like two weeks for me to get everything here. So my friend actually suggested that we should go to Spain again, so that I could relax. But <laughs> oh my god, this um, the trip was something that I wish I had never gone on. The idea was absolutely amazing, you know, that I could go away and relax for a week and then get back to work, you know, energized and happy. But the actual thing that happened was that um, the friend that I uh, went on the trip with um, is no longer in my life. Then there was Christmas and New Year's. It was kind of okay, actually. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what's going on with my hair. Um, by the way, I have no makeup on because uh, I had my lashes done today. So I didn't put any makeup on. And I have... Uh, actually, can you see? Um, I visited my godson today. <laughs> and we were playing around. And I had an apple in my hand, which he was eating. He got a bit too excited and he bit my thumb. And I actually bled his teeth are so sharp and he like really bit into this he marked his auntie I absolutely love my godson and oh yeah another another thing um, my sister gave birth in June and I got to be the god godmother of her daughter and her name is Sela she is uh, Lumi's sister she's so gorgeous She's like the most beautiful baby ever, pretty much. But unfortunately, I haven't been able to visit them as much as I would have liked to because I'm always working, which I'm trying to change. I really... I just <sighs> you know, some people work so that they can live. But for me, I have it kind of other way around, which is totally messed up. I live so I can work, which is absolutely insane. Uh, my best friend also had a baby seven weeks ago. Uh, she gave birth to a little boy and I also saw him today. He's, he's just so lovely and he doesn't cry, which is so weird. Yeah, maybe I have a bit of a baby fever myself. Yeah, so this is my um, big catch-up video. I hope 
that I have enough time to actually begin vlogging again. Uh, I will try, but I will most definitely not do a daily vlog thing again. There's just no way. But maybe like a couple of times a week or something. I don't know, I'm not making any promises this time. So yeah, I'm gonna take you along with me for the next adventures. And I'm hoping that the next year will be a good one. Because last year was kind of all over the place. But yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. I have early morning tomorrow. Busy work day ahead of me. Yeah, I need to get some sleep. So yeah, see you guys later. Bye!